Hey, it's Jo. So for today's video, we are going to talk about Martin Pistorius. Martin Pistorius was born in Johannesburg, South Africa in 1975. Martin was a bright, fun-loving, happy young boy when a mystery illness stole his life away. In 1988, Martin was 12 years old when he fell into a virtual coma and lost his intelligence, his memory, and his ability to function. Martin's parents were told an unknown degenerative disease left him with the mind of a baby and less than two years to live. Martin began losing voluntary motor control and eventually fell into a vegetative state for three years. Martin was moved to care centers for severely disabled children. The stress and heartache shook his parents' marriage and their family to the core. When Martin finally awakened in the early 1990s, around the age of 14 or 15, Martin emerged in a dreary fog as his mind gradually rebooted itself. After two years, my God, he began regaining consciousness around age 16 and achieved full consciousness by the age of 19, although he was still completely paralyzed with the exception of his eyes. He regained consciousness. No, not really regained consciousness. He's conscious. I'll insert photos of Martin when he was a young boy and um, his latest photos. Martin was moved from care centers to care centers because nga, his parents was not able to really look after him. I'm not really sure. Ganun yata sa, sa bansa nila. Na they can leave their child in a care center because they can take care of him better than his parents. So I believe I read an article that a physical therapist notice that Martin is not really in a coma because he's awake but ano lang siya hindi siya he can communicate as in nakahiga lang siya and he's just tulala parang ganun he was unable to communicate with other people but he can move his eyes his caregiver named Virna Vanderwalt noticed that he could use his eyes to respond to her words. So, yeah, because of this caregiver, this caregiver is actually pertinent to this story because Verna is the one who noticed that Martin can communicate using his eyes even though he can't speak. Verna sent him to the Center for Augmentative and Alternative Communication at the University of Pretoria for testing, where they confirmed that Martin was conscious and aware of his surroundings. So from age 12 until age 19, so 7 years, 7 years na nasa vegetative state si Martin. And nung 19 years old siya, nun lang na-notice ni Verna, na he can move his eyes. So, Martin's parents then gave him a speech computer. Kasi nga, they can't do anything about his speech problem. Hindi na talaga makakapagsalita si Martin because nga dun sa naging illness niya. But then, he slowly began to regain some upper body functions. Parang akala ng parents niya magiging... Gulay na lang talaga siya, but then natuto si Martin na igalaw yung upper body niya. In 2001, Martin is 26 years old. That's when he learned to communicate via his speech computer. Diba nakakatuwa, when I watch a video from 60 Minutes Australia, napaka teki Ang teki ng computer niya kasi his computer is the thing that he uses to speak. So, yung computer niya, his computer speaks for him. And the voice, according to 
to him the voice that speaking is really his voice if he could talk and then he made friends and um, changed his life in 2008 he met the love of his life her name is joanna and joanna immigrated to the uk in 2009 they married and then the next year they started their own business martin loves spending time with his friends and most of all being with his wife martin and joanna were told by their doctor that they would never be able to have a child so they sold the baby things they had gathered over the years because they began to collect baby things because of course they wanted to have children so after the doctor advised them that they would never have a child so binenta na lang nila however in 2018 after a visit to the u.s from their home in london joanna thought she had food poisoning because for some reason yeah dahil siguro nagsusuka siya and for some reason, she thought to do a pregnancy test. Kasi diba, pag, uh, especially kung married, pag nahihilo si ate girl, either nagpi-PMS or pregnant. When the result was positive, according to Martin, they are both shocked. And they didn't believe it. Kasi nga nagaling na sa doktor eh. They can't have children. And then they thought na maybe the pregnancy test was old. So they bought a new one. Actually... A several pregnancy tests just to be sure but then when they tested it's all positive so they were shocked shocked and happy at the same time they couldn't believe it they were blessed and initially according to martin he was shocked because they were advised by their doctor as in yung doctor professional yun he knows what he's doing and what he is saying. But then there's this miracle na nabuntis yung asawa niya. Martin is super excited. However, he still has moments of um, worry and concern because nga he couldn't speak ng normal. But he could speak using his computer. But he is looking forward to being a father. On the other hand, Joanna is very excited and incredibly thankful. And um, sometimes, according to her, she still feels a bit unreal. Diba parang grabe yung miracle sa buhay ni Martin. I mean, from being on a coma, tapos in vegetative state, and then he got married, he fell in love. Parang, I think I, I watched on his interview that he thought that he he would never marry someone or wala magkakagusto sa kanya because of his condition nga. I have so much love inside of me and nobody to give it to. And he never had a girlfriend because nga at age 12, nakuma na siya. He was very blessed. Akala nila hindi sila magkakaanak and then eventually nabunti si, si Joanna nakakaloka. Martin actually acknowledged communicating with the baby will be a challenge, of course, but he always read to his unborn child using his computerized voice. Parang binabasahan ng mga baby stories. And um, Joanna is already acting like a mom. That time when Joanna was still pregnant, they were inventing ways for Martin to interact with their child. So according to Martin, he learned baby sign language so that it will be easier and quicker for him to communicate with his child. So according to Martin, quote unquote, Okay, I found this on the web for easier and quicker for him to communicate with his child according to Martin. <laughs> Alam mo Siri, ang creepy mo. Ano ka ba? Nagulay ito si Siri. Lagi nilang nakikisali sa video ko. According to him in an interview, life can change so quickly that it is good to appreciate what you have in this moment. Treat everyone with kindness dignity, compassion, and respect. Irrespective of whether you think they understand or not, never underestimate the power of the mind, the importance of love and faith, and never stop 
dreaming, which is very, very moving. I mean, for someone to go through something like that, he's only 12 years old para maranasan yung mga naranasan niya. I mean, grabe, nung nabasa ko at napanood ko yung story ni Martin, nakaka-amaze, nakaka-amaze tang Lord. Grabe yung miracle sa buhay ni Martin, di ba? Nakakaloka, unbelievable talaga. Martin even wrote a book called Ghost Boy because that's how people call him, Ghost Boy. He's there but he's not there. Para nakahiga lang kasi siya nun eh, nung at the time na um, he's in a coma. Parang ang hirap na makita yung tao ng coma siya, natulog. But mas mahirap yata kung coma pero gising. Parang ganun, na- nakamulat siya, I mean. So, yeah. Nakakaloka tong kwento na to, but it's inspiring. Sometimes when people feel down or, you know, sobrang daming test and trials ng buhay, but reading something like this, anong irereklamo ko, di ba? I'm blessed. So, yeah, let's be contented with what we have and not look to things that we don't have. Kasi di ba sabi nga, when you are contented with what you have, you have all you need. Thank you so much you guys for watching today's video. Let's be thankful every day na we get to spend time with our family. We are alive. We woke up. So yeah, thank you so much you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope to see you on my next video. God bless you all. Bye!